In this video, I'm going to show you a hidden away feature that will save you a ton of time when you're working with text. It's called Update Kernin Settings. To begin, I'm going to add the name David to the workspace and I've chosen the Times Roman font. The reason I've chosen Times Roman is because this font's notorious for causing issues with kernin. And you can see that straight away by looking at the distance between the D and the A. The letters are too far apart. So to fix that, we'd go to the reshape tool and drag the pink diamond of the D closer to the A. That's done the trick, but if we had to do that every time we typed a D and an A together, then we'd waste an awful lot of time, which is why we use Wilcom's update kerning settings feature to teach the software our preferred distance between two letters so that we never have to do it again. To apply, click and drag a box around the two diamonds of the letters where we've changed the distance between, then go to Object, click Update Kerning Settings, and agree to the prompt box. Now those settings have been saved. To verify, we'll delete the name and add those two letters again to the workspace. Now you can see the spacing has been remembered and the letters look perfect. I hope this video has been of value to you. You can find many more fast-paced Wilcom tutorials on my website, wilcomtutorials.com. And I'll be adding more YouTube content over time, so please like and subscribe.